everyone again. If some of you were on my personal place, um, I'm just having difficulty again uh, logging in, but I think this time we got it. Let's check this out. I was on my personal page, I guess. This time it's a Frenchie's stamps, and I think we got it. Here we go. What a crazy, crazy thing. Let's make sure it's there. Here we go. Perfect. Okay, let me put my device there. My goodness. Okay, I know this is dark. One second, it won't be long. Let me do right light. Here we go. This has just been um, crazy, crazy. I was on uh, my personal page. So, um, I was trying to get on and it shifted me there. It's just crazy the way that Facebook is updating. I was reading uh, on the, I'm in a group of demonstrator later. So many people got problem with that. So we're doing our best, put it that way. So tonight it's completely different. I have to say I was inspired by a car. So it's all in here. We're gonna see if we can put it on paper. Rosemary, my sweet little Canadian demonstrator friend in the West Coast. I think I got something stuck in my feet. Um, she did a card with the, the gang's mirror and she used a cactus and uh, from the cactus she stamped some hearts that was coming out. Well, I thought, oh, that would be perfect with the elephant. Well, the elephant that we got, it got this baby and his trunk is, is down. We used to have an elephant way back. I think it was a single stamp with the trunk up. Well, I had that in mind. Well, start looking through my stamp, and I came to the rhino. This one, the animal outing. So that's what I visualized. So I needed some small arts. Um, the dog one, the heart in the dog one was a bit too big. I got to find those little three, little three three arts in the nine live and then i got meant to be right there everything i'm using it's from the annual catalog all, all of it the the annual catalog nothing from the new catalog all from the old and i pre-dye from the so sweetly uh, stitch i i dye cut two of the that in case if i ruin one and this year i've been wanting to use this this is from the with uh the puppies the painted puppies the coordinated uh, dye that is the paint painted label dyes so that's i printed that in the red so i don't know what we're going to do with it but i'm thinking we're going to punch another thing and put valentine's that's the dye that i use so shall we get started let me flip you down and we're going to see what we're going to do with what we got okay so let oops something i think was a rock under my chair that whatever here we go down and now we're gonna flip you up and down okay now we're going to do a just a little bit of adjustment here here we go this is upside down because the other way had to be there we're gonna put that okay right here so i know and i always like to put myself a piece of tape so i can keep it in one place put it that way so let's move that there and I don't like the color of this, so we're going to adjust the color now. So let me remove this. Much better, right? Okay, I think that's going to do it. So first thing we're going to do, I'm thinking of doing a shadow too. So I got my silicone mat. 
the stamp set got i don't even have that's the old uh, kind i didn't put my label in the back see it got the bird there well i don't want the bird i want some hearts so um the rhino really i'm pretending it was my um elephant with ele elephant not with a h elephant with the trunk going up but i don't want the bird so what we're going to do for that I'm going to use the basic gray marker and we're going to stamp with our marker. It's kind of cricket, right? I just shoved that there and okay. So maybe I want a piece of scrappy paper too. Let me always want to do the first one on a scrappy paper. So then you know, because it seems the second time you go with marker, it's even ink better. So what I do, I just take my marker, and if you notice, I don't use the tip of my marker. I go sideways, so that way you protect your marker also. Very rare, I'm going to use the tip itself of the marker. Uh, usually when I do that, people are going to say, can I do that with blends? And the answer is no. And why you cannot do that with blends, because blends are um, alcohol markers, so it's going to dry right away on your, because it's kind of permanent, right? It's going to dry right away on your uh, stamp. Okay, I'm going to, up on this, stamp that there. Oh, that would have been perfect. I mean, perfect. <coughs> Excuse me. And this is basic gray. I didn't want that deep black. So I wanted uh, something a little bit lighter because I want to do to I I got my watercolor pencil here that I plan to add a little bit of that to um, have it you know like those sketch. So we're gonna see what we can do with that. I got a few things in mind, so we're gonna see uh, if it works. Okay, now I'm gonna bring one of my. Uh, I got two just in case I ruin one. Off on it. Gonna put the about oh three a quarter up there. <coughs> Excuse me. I eat some almond before going live. I'm just giving a good imprint here. Voila! See, it's absolutely no um, uh, birds there. Now I'm gonna use. Let's try. I want to put a shadow too. Okay, let's use the pencil here. This is the basic gray, the watercolor pencil. And we're just going to do it like you're doing a sketch. Hmm. It's not doing what I was thinking it would do. So let me just watercolor it then. I was hoping to do like lines, like, you know, those sketch that you see. <clears throat> it's not, it's not doing what I was planning to do. It's, it's not turning like what I had in my mind. So we're going to go with the flow and we're going to see what we're going to achieve from this. Is he a cutie? Okay. I need, um. Let's hope it's water in this. Sometime I put alcohol. No, it's water. So I'm just going to barely uh, watercolor this just to blend the gray there. So now I'm really removing the lines. This is shimmer uh, paper. Shimmer white paper. I've been using a lot of that lately, if you notice. I uh, love shimmer paper because main reason it's so much you can do with it you can watercolor you can use it like regular uh, sponging sponge very smoothly on it uh, make a huge difference if you are challenged with sponging strive sponging on um, um, whisper and ear and i mean um, shimmer and when aside there i just going to blend that a little bit here we go. Okay, so now we got our rhino. You got a little bit of colors. I think at some place I would like to have a little bit darker. So I'm just going to come and add his little roly poly here. 
you know, they get that extra skin. Don't want much water, though. Very little water. Okay. Now we're going to add, mm, you know what? Let me look for a pinkish. Flirty flamingo. Ooh, that can be dangerous. Yeah, you know what? We're going to dry it just to speed up the process here. I agree. <coughs> Somebody said it feels like the old stamp. Um, you're going to see me using a little bit more and more from the annual catalog because I agree with you, Diane, that we forget about them. So, yeah, I'm just going to add a tiny little bit of pink here. And I say tiny. I don't want him to. Uh... Here we go. Okay, now let's bring our hearts. Oh, not this one. And uh, the animal outing also, it is um, a dye that matched that. So this year, in the Nine Life, you get the outline and you get the full. We're going to use the full. Okay, the three little hearts. And then I get one more hearts. We're meant to be. We're... <clears throat> I'm sorry, I shouldn't eat those almonds before going live. Okay, um, we're going to use this one here, the smallest of them. I don't like my... Uh... You know what? Another thing you can do with uh, those watercolor pencil, it's use your aqua painter right at the tip there. Here we go, much better there. Just, just what it needed. <clears throat> okay, now let's put this. I don't have another little. Okay, we're gonna put it on this. Okay, we're gonna use real red. <coughs> Sorry, <clears throat> I'm gonna get it out of me, right? <clears throat> and we're gonna put that right at the top of his. Perfect. Now I'm going to go right here, stamp off right there. Okay, so I got three of the one in the met to be. Now we're going to use the, this little one here. And I'm stamp on and stamp again. Oh my goodness, how cute is that? I'm going to stamp off this one. Et voila, how cute is it? Well, that was easy. That was super easy. Oh, that go there, no place. Okay, now I want to do a shadow. Uh, let's use our blend. Uh, yes, Seaside Spray for our blend. And I just... Hmm, that's going to be like water. I don't want water, though. Hmm. Let me think. Let me think. We're going to use light crumb cake, like it's the ground. Okay. Oh, my light crumb cake, it's almost out, though. Okay, I'm just going to do a bit of shadow here. You know, I always like to have something that they stand E at the ground, though. Okay, now I'm going to use my blender, the color lifter. Mm, this one had better days. Let's use this one. Okay, I'm using the color lifter here. Just smooth that good. And we want darker at the top and lighter at the bottom. So uh, it's 
almost out. Let me see which color is this here. I'm looking in my light colors. Light smoky slate. No, I'm gonna still I need another crumb cake. I bet I do have one in the back there, but okay, let me add just a bit darker here. Okay. Now let me blend that a little bit more with the lifter there. So I'm gonna go from the top going up. Okay, now we're gonna do a shadow. <clears throat> so let's bring our silicone mat. So it's older stamp set that I'm using, no new release. Um, let me wash here. And it's uh, not only older stamp set, but it's, um, whoops, older stamp set and then older technique. That's what I'm trying to say there. Okay, we're going to use, I'm afraid light gray, I won't see it. So I'm going to use small, uh, the same one. And I won't worry too much about the ground there. So I'm just going to go here. And it won't be placed for the full thing though, okay? I think that's going to be plenty. I'm going to huff on this. Put this here. I'm going to bring this. I'm going to dry it up a little bit because I don't want it so dark. I'm going to line that up. Now I have to get up. You see, you still can see through. I'm going to shift it a little bit to the left there so that the way the, the light is coming. And I'm just going to press a little bit. And lift this up. Oh, it's plenty. Et voila. Now we get a shadow. Is that cool or what? So now we get this little shadow. Now, <clears throat> how are you going to wash this? You just take your spritz and do it. Or you can use your uh, silicone mat. Uh, I mean, your chamois. Boom, done. So now I got this little shadow. Okay, let's build a card here. I brought, oh, this here. That's going to go there, I think. What is the stamp set? Happy Valentine's Day meant to be. Um, let me washy washy this here. Okay, let me, um, hmm. Okay, we're going to put Happy Valentine's Day. Do I have another one? It looks like a different font than that. Mm. No, that's the one we're going to use. That's it. Okay. So let me pull this in. And happy Valentine's Day. And I need some uh, scrappy paper for that, right? Here is my scrappy paper that I cut this out. See, I got two ready and we just needed one. If I would add one, I really would have ruined that. And we're going to use real red. And we're going to stamp this. And then I'm not sure the size we need. So let me see here the size inside this. So... Mm, one and three quarter would be the max. So you would take your framelits if you don't have the old punch. I'm using the punch because I don't have time to go for the framelits. And oh, it fit perfect. We're going to do this. And That's going to go perfect. Okay, now I brought, or I got together, I got black, basic gray, and uh, red, real red. So let's see. I could have done another, I don't think it's another one bigger of the scallop, though. We're going to do it without. Okay, I got the basic gray already uh, cut here. Uh this game's turn. You know what? This is gonna be our our thing. 
was a reason for this, right? And let's do black. We're going to do, um, hmm, no, let's do uh, red. Five and a quarter by four. And let me emboss this. Oh, wrong way. I embossed this on the wrong way. See, sideway. Okay, we need another red. Okay. See, sometimes we make mistakes. I'm going to use that for another card. So let me cut this at four. And then five. Oh, not long enough. Well, I don't have no more red here. Do I have? I think so. Okay, my five and a quarter by four. That's right, because it's going up and down. So I need this to go up and down. I couldn't have the sideway greeting, right? Or the, the word. I think that would be a nice, just something in the background. Let me unbox this. Okay, so that's going to finish that. Now we're going to put this here, put that there, and then I wanted a black. And this is, okay, about three and about four and a quarter. Okay. So we're going to go three and a quarter by, mm, we're going to go at three eighths. That'd be right. Oh, we're going to do some trimming here. I don't want so big. Well, you know what? Maybe that's not bad. I think that's going to work. Okay, let's see if this is going to work. This. Okay, that that my vision. See, I don't want to cover my beauty there, my uh, creature. So we're gonna do something else. We're gonna use. Uh, let me bring uh, some beady 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 polka dot. We're gonna cut this. So now you can see I had something in my vision, but some stuff didn't work, and I just create as I go. The happy birthday is going to go inside, so we didn't lose it, okay? So we're going to bring this. We're going to do a faux knot here. This. And this. Okay, now we're going to put that on this side. Uh, I had way too big, huh? That's okay. And my scissors, scissors. Here we go. And I always, anytime I use, doesn't matter what type of ribbon, I like to put it another secure there. We're going to put that right here. And then we're going to cut this sideways. Here we go. Yeah, I'm going to trim that a little bit, I think. Yes, let's trim that a little bit more. 
So um, I'm just going to place this here because it's a weird. Here we go. Put that there and about there. And I'm thinking maybe those embellishments, those art epoxy would be cute. Like so. You know what? Can I wiggle this up there a bit? Here we go. And we're going to put this here. I'm going to do a little greeting there, though. It won't be Happy Valentine's because it's going to go inside. Here we go. What else we got in this? We got um, just for you. You make me happy. I think that is good. You make me happy. You make me happy. That's what we're going to use. Is he cute? I think he is. And usually I would stamp that in red, but I think he need he needs some blue there for the sky. So I'm going with seaside spray. Just so it won't be so pronounced. I want to make sure I'm straight. So let's see here. Okay. Let's put, yeah, that's going to look good there. Okay. Voila. And you see it's cricket. That's okay. We're going to fix him. Let's go at um, one minute. We're going to put that. I thought he was straight, but he's not. We're going to fix him up. You make me happy. It's a song that will like that. Oh, that's still too big. Is one okay? Okay, I got one inch circle. And then I'm going to go one and a quarter. So we do not have one and a quarter. You're going to have to use your, um, your uh, die. Let me pop this. This. After all, I needed to use some dimensional. I just wanted to use some dimensional. Here we go. Put the dimensional in the back of that. Now I get control out to put that straight there. Oh, that finished it very good. Okay. I need a whisper white for the inside. And we're going to glue that inside. Put that right here. We're going to put our appy, but before we put our appy, let's just put that about where you, we want it. Oh, that one. Here we go. We're going to put that right there. And we're going to put some little hearts floating up. One, two, three. Oops. And four. Here we go. So now we got the little arts floating there. We're going to put our little, I just wanted to use this die. I just love this shape. It's perfect for our greeting. So now it's looking, it's coming through it. And we're going to put the Happy Valentine. And it, voila. How simple this was. See? So you get your nice shadow there. 
See, the, um, the crumb cake looked very, it was looked very blah when we started, but as it dry, it's just looked like the ground. So I hope this inspire you to dig out in your stash of stamp and use some, or if you don't have that and you like what you see tonight, I hope I inspire you to get your animal catalog and see all the happy birthday card. Absolutely. See what you get in your um, in the animal catalog. It's a lot of lovely stamps there that we forget about it. So let me flip. I see some hearts. I love that. So I will, anybody that... Um, comments now i'm in the dark so we're gonna turn on the lights here we go um i will announce the winner uh, like sunday for this lovely card oops uh here you see it very good there see the nice shadow i think it turned out very lovely so i will have um i will announce the winner um uh, it picked through uh the it's called common picker that uh, and then I will send that to, in the mail. So thank you, thank you so much for joining me. Don't forget, celebration is still in full swing. Um, I want to give you a heads up next Wednesday. That will be February fifth. Holly and I will be live with. You see this stash of card here. We will be live showcasing all cards using uh, the new uh, the new product, the new coordination product. Many, many uh, different style, different. Uh, this was a swap that I, I participate in. I participate in two swaps. And I'm going to share all of the cards live. And not only that, I'm going to share the cards live. I'm going to share with you how you can emboss with a detailed die. So you see, this was cut. And this is embossed. You can see. So I'm going to share how to do that. I'm also going to have about uh, four or five different folds that it's different fold in these cards. Like, let me share a few that you know what you're getting in. Uh, here's one. So like you get the peekaboo window, like here, open, open. So I'm going to share this full. I get like five. And this is another one. See, they don't touch together there, the way it folds, but then when it open. So I'm going to share all those full uh, live next Wednesday. And that's going to be on YouTube. It's The link's going to be on my blog at frenchystamps.com. So just come there on next Wednesday. I'm going to have all the details. You're going to see the <clears throat> pictures of the cards also. And uh, that's going to be at 6.30 Mountain Time. So like a half hour later than what we do our live on uh, Facebook. So 6.30 Mountain Time. So Pacific, it's going to be 5.30 Mountain, 6.30. Central, 7.30, Eastern Time, 8.30. And that's going to take place on YouTube. And yes, I will be back here next Thursday to create on the fly. So hope you enjoyed tonight. Till next time, happy stamping, my friend. And here's another look at it. I think it looked just like a mirror. Turned out very, very cute. So that is it. Bye-bye for now, my friend.